In this video, I am going to explain and demonstrate the place value way, which is a strategy we use in second grade to understand addition and subtraction regrouping. There are several strategies that we use for second grade addition. We use number bonds and friendly numbers, number lines, counting by 1, 2, 5, 10, or 100 the place value way, which we're going to focus on today, and the vertical way, which is our end goal for all students to be able to understand and efficiently and effectively um, complete. Using number bonds and friendly numbers was something that students focused on in first grade and reviewed at the beginning of second. Um, using a number line and counting by 1, 2, 5, 10, or 100 is something that we refer back to regularly for skills on counting by um, different amounts as well as um, becoming more fluent problem solvers with addition and subtraction. As I said, today we are going to focus on the place value way. The place value way helps create the foundations um, for students to ultimately be able to add and subtract using the standard algorithm within 1000 efficiently and effectively. So first they have to understand that three digit numbers are in amounts of hundreds, tens, and ones. Um, we want them to be able to do this by using a drawing based on place value, and that is our place value way. And as they do this, they are going to develop an understanding that they can compose or decompose tens or hundreds when they need to. And then we really want them to be able to explain why addition and subtraction strategies work as they use place value. So today, we are going to do the place value way for addition and we want students when they need to, they don't always need to, but to know that they can trade 10 ones for 110 and trade 10 tens for 100. If their um, sum only results in nine ones, they do not need to do any trading. Same with um, if that happens in the tens or the hundreds place. But today our example does show this need for regrouping and trading of those numbers. So this is a place value chart. We have our hundreds, tens, and ones, and these are place value discs in their respective colors. In the classroom, we will often just draw a place value disc on our board and write the amount it is worth in um, the disc. But for today's purposes, I'm going to use our discs here. So first I need to represent 355. So I need three hundreds. I need five tens. And I need five ones. And we are also going to represent the second number, which is 166, because we're adding them together on our place value chart. So I have 100, six tens. Oh, grabbed one too many there. And six ones. Now, sometimes I will encourage students to draw a line between their two numbers if they're struggling to organize, um, but often they can just represent them all together. Now, we added our 355 and our 166 to our place value chart, so we can go ahead and count those up. I have five, 10, 11 ones, and we know that we can't have 11 ones in our ones place. Um, that would not result in the right sum. So we are going to trade 10 of these ones for one 10. So we circle these 10 ones that we are going to trade in for one 10. And because we traded them, they are no longer of value in our ones place. And we are left with one, one. Now we're going to repeat the same process in our tens place. I have five, 
10, 11, 12. Same thing. I cannot have 12 tens in my tens place, nine or less. So I need to trade 10 of my tens for 100. So I'm going to bundle them up, circle them here, and trade them for 100. Now I am left with two tens, and we're going to move to our hundreds place. One, two, three, four, five. So we discovered that 355 plus 166 is a sum of 520. One, and I believe I forgot to mention as we started here that we always start in the ones place. That is why we have this star here. We um, start in the ones place when we move to the standard algorithm, which is our end goal. So we start in the ones place here to make sure that we um, are understanding that process and that we need to work from right to left with our addition and subtraction. And that is the place value way for second grade addition and subtraction regrouping.